This is a weird mystery box that combines both stickers and dolls. Introducing Decora Girls, the sticker and style dolls mystery box that I found on my previous trip to the UK. Now the box does say that there are 19 dolls to collect with over 44 surprises inside each one. This has me somewhat skeptical. I don't know if this is going to be worth your cash or if it's going to go. In the train. Now each one of these mystery dolls comes to around $20 each. And as we can see, it doesn't seem like they're very popular with only two reviews. They do have a full perfect five star review. I don't know about that, but we're gonna check it out. And these dolls really do look absolutely adorable. I love the hair color. I love the vibrancy. I love their facial expression. Just everything about it reminds me of Rainbow Bright. Rainbow Bright, this character. Now, even though the box does say there's 19 to collect, I've only ever seen nine of them to actually collect. And in the store, it only looked like there were three different faces at the front of the box. I really looked and I'm guessing that the inside really should be a mystery. And hopefully the front of the box doesn't tell us what's the exact doll on the inside. Otherwise, it's not really a mystery. Then again, it might be a good thing for those of you who are completionists. But basically, these are all the ones that we should be able to get. And they really are all absolutely adorable with different kinds of hairstyles and accessories. So I'm hoping for the uniqueness factor here. This doll, this one's really cute. I love this rainbow aesthetic. It's way too adorable. I love the uh, galaxy theme of that one. This one's kind of like lolly goth style. And this one's just kind of like pop art and candy. So I'm curious to see which one we're going to get. But of course, if Amazon's going to show me that there's a video, I want to watch it. It means you're stuck with me because I love these advertisements. <laughs> All right, let's, let's see this gem. Oh my goodness, we are starting off strong with an actual animated character. I don't think this is an actual TV show or cartoon, but look at the amount of accessories we're getting. I think they're counting every sticker as an item, so maybe the 44 items could be like 20 stickers, but we don't know, we're gonna find that out together. And it looks like we have eight surprises. Wait, that's weird. Okay, it does say that there are 44 surprises inside. Let's get close up of that kitty editor on the box. And then on the advertisement here, it says, eight surprises. There's con conflicting information here. And then here we have Cat, Buzzy, Luna, Decora. So we're, okay, we're seeing different characters. Okay, here we see the full list of characters. All right, so let's go ahead and start with the main character, which is Decora. And I'm really, really curious if we're going to get the actual character who is at the front. Otherwise, this wouldn't be a mystery box, but I guess we'll find out. And here are all the ones that we can get. We have Heather, who is pretty floral. We have Sweetie, Celestia. The names are actually pretty perfect. We have Luna, London, Buzzy, and Blossom. And of course, we have the main character of this set, which is Decora. And now I'm starting to think the person inside might actually be Decora. But here's what we're being told we're gonna get. We're gonna get the doll, dress, bag, shoes, hair ornament, flat stickers, and puffy stickers. Okay, and then a hair comb. So these are the categories, and then here it says styles will vary. But then it puts me in doubt here because it does say which Decora girl will you be? So we don't know which character this is, but at the same time, here we say, hi, I'm Luna, and it still tells us which Decora girl will you be? And then we have a different character here. I'm confused. Maybe there's different waves, but let's open it up. Oh. Okay. So here's everything that we get. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven mystery bags. So I'm gonna go ahead and take the doll on the side. Actually, no, I wanna see the doll. Should I see the doll or should I see the items first? I kinda wanna see the doll first. But let's just do the doll. And we are getting Decora. Okay, I think this is gonna set the tone for the rest of the video. Here we have our first character and the hair seems to be pushed down with a piece of plastic. So let me remove this. That's a clever idea because that means the hair doesn't get all messy in transport. My goodness, this hair is absolutely gorgeous. We have different colors here, ranging from red to orange, yellow, green, and blue. And then we have purple. This is so soft. Holy shrimp. This is beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Her bangs are kind of flattened, but I'm pretty sure we can fluff it up like this. 
Her face is really cute. Let's get a little closer. And I thought the mouth was painted on, but it's actually sculpted into the character. So that's really nice detail. And let's check the body. So for the body, we have the arms that can move and they do feel like a soft rubber. So look at that. The arms are actually rubber. Oh wait, it's articulated. So the shoulders articulated, not just up and down, but side to side. There's no articulation at the wrists. Again, very soft rubber here. And then we have the legs that are pointing inwards and they can go 90 degrees. Can she sit? The answer is no, because her head is too big. So if we try to get her to sit, it's a no. And then the next question is, can she stand? I was about to say yes, but hang on. I think she can stand. Let's try this again. Let's get her hand forward because she fell backwards. Let's see, can you stand on your own? My hands are here. She is standing. For how long? I don't know. And this is without her outfit on. <laughs> but okay, this is cute. Very cute. I do like the design, the hair. Oh my goodness. I can't get over how soft this hair is. Absolutely phenomenal. But I think what's going to make or break this is going to be the surprises that we have in the mystery bags. So the good thing at least is the front of the box tells us which doll we get and then everything else should correspond. All right, so first thing I noticed is that the tabs are at the bottom of the baggie. So let's see how well they work. Okay, that's pretty good. And we have, ooh, we got some puffy stickers. We have some stars, some hearts. Yeah, these are definitely puffy stickers. And we also have little rainbows with clouds. These are cute, oh my goodness. I love puffy stickers. And it's going to be really interesting to see if the materials on the inside are going to be different from each doll. That's, that's my hope, is that they're not just recycling the same thing over and over. Next item, this is pretty chunky. So let's see what we have. And you are, oh. What? Oh, 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 okay. Oh, look at that. Okay, one thing at a time. We have some non-puffy stickers, and I guess these are supposed to be kind of like band-aids. Let's get closer. And these are band-aid types, and these are different rainbows. We have little stars. We have more tiny stars that I absolutely adore because they're stars. It feels like you're getting a reward. <laughs> And the next item that caught me by surprise is we're getting a stand for the doll. Now I didn't notice if there was a way to get her to stand, but I'm gonna have to check online how this works. But that's neat. So you can definitely display them as a collector. Very cool. Next baggie, this one is a blue one. This one's also pretty chunky and it is her outfit. This is the back and here's the front. We have a tiny jacket and a layered type dress. I feel like we might actually have to remove the head to get this on, but there are no instructions. And I'm I'm not the best at dressing dolls. So we're gonna check this out when we get there. This one's pretty flat, so I don't know what's in here, but you are. Okay, here's the comb. Oh goodness, the details on this one are hard to see. We have Decora Girls, a little bit of a plastic on top here, and the back is pretty plain. Now they did show that the hair should be easily combed. So if we have Decora over here and we take the comb, yeah, that goes through pretty good, except here at the end. Oh my goodness. Yeah, the ends are a bit more tough, but there you go. Okay, the rest is fine. Blue was just giving me a bit of a hard time, but otherwise the comb goes right through. Another flat item over here. Let's pull you and you are more stickers. I guess this is a sticker and doll mystery box. So it makes sense that there are more stickers. So here we go. These are rainbow bows, rainbow. Get it? It's a rainbow bow. It's a rainbow. Okay, I'll, I'll see myself. <laughs> this one is a small chunky piece. Let's see what you are. We're still supposed to get shoes though, but what are you? A bag? A cell phone? A purse? I'm not sure. The details on this are a little lacking. I guess it's whatever your imagination wants it to be. Is it a paddle? It, I don't know. I guess it could be a paddle if you're in. <laughs> if you like that. I'm not here to judge. Honestly, I'm not sure what this is, but I guess it's supposed to be a bag. They could have done a little bit more with that. And then this purple one should be our shoes. Yes, yes, oh my goodness. And they are different colors. So I'm guessing the socks are different colors. Now, I don't know about you grains, but I like to wear different colored socks, not because I'm quirky, but because I lose my other socks. <laughs> I'm just like that, are you the same? <laughs> but I'm pretty sure I saw that these shoes looked actually pretty different in the advertisement. Let me double check. And the box does show that there are stars on there. Okay, that's what we're doing. We're decorating this. 
So we do have flat stickers that we can use to decorate our character and make her more unique. Okay, so let's see if we can figure this out because the slit is not all the way. Unless we can slide it over here. Can I do that? Can I? I don't think so. Let's see if we can pop her head out. I don't feel comfortable with this. <laughs> I don't think so. I feel... I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay, I don't think I can pull her head off. No. So I'm really guessing we're going to have to kind of wiggle her body into this tiny slit like a saw. And that's why her hands are flexible. Okay, we can shove them. Oh gosh, these are tiny holes. That's what he Okay, this goes in here. This goes in there. Very nice. This is <laughs> quite complicated. There you go. Oh my goodness, we did it. We did it. Yes. And now for the shoes, I don't think it matters left or right. Does it matter? I think it matters. I think this is right. Okay, Let's shove that foot. Come on, I got this. Okay, there we go. And the next one. Aha. Uh -huh. And here she is looking absolutely adorable. I'm sorry, I pulled your head. I don't know any better. And now the next question is, does she still stand? And I'm going to go ahead and make a prediction and say absolutely not because the shoes are very soft and they're just not gonna hold very well. I'm gonna try and lean her a little bit more forward and balance her out. Not quite. I think you could, but we do have a stand for it. Now we do have these stickers so we can technically pull out some of these and place them on the shoes to give us a custom character. So here's the before and after of the shoes with me having placed a couple of stickers on there. They really do add a little bit more character, which I really like. And I'm wondering if we can use some of the puffy stickers to add a little bit more dimension and depth to the dress. So let's take a cute little star and place it right at the front. Yeah, you can definitely do that, which is cute. I just hope it's not gonna fall off at any point. But this is what it looks like. You can see it doesn't hug all the way around because it is a puffy area. And then for the cute little band-aids, we can actually take one of these, like I so, saw, and put it on the bridge of her nose according to the packaging. See what that looks like. Oh my goodness, that is cute. I have to say, I didn't expect so much playability when it comes to this figurine, but this is cute. I am loving this. Let's go ahead and put it on the stand and see how that looks. All right, so I put all the pieces together like this. My guess is this is going to go around the back of the neck. So we're just gonna put it like a so. And there she is. Let's try and get her stand in. Voila. So here is our Decora character, Decora, actually displayed. Let me know what you think about this one and let's go ahead and check the others so you can let me know which one of these is your favorite. The next one we're going to check out, Allegedly's name is Luna. This is going to confirm whether or not the characters at the front are indeed the characters on the inside. And I love this gothy type aesthetic. Look at that, we have moth skull over here, super cute. We have different kinds of candy skull looks which I'm really hoping we do get different kinds of stickers. So, let's see what we get inside. Here are our surprise bags. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Kitty editor, did we get seven in the other one? I think eighth is the doll. Okay, I think so. And let's see who do we have. Yes, okay, we do have Luna, the gothic lolly character. She is beautiful. I love the hair, love the colors. Let's get you out. I have to say, I thought this mystery box wouldn't be great, but it's offering so much attention details that it's satisfying the adhd -er in me. As someone with ADHD, having miniature activities like this just makes it way more appealing. So here we have her hairstyle, which is kind of braided, pigtails, very beautiful. Look at just the, even the differences of the color strands going all the way around. This is absolutely gorgeous. I love details. So for me to notice this is absolutely just fun to have. I know this is probably gonna bother some of you, so you might have to actually fix it yourselves, but I know I'm not gonna do better. I know if I unveil this, 
I'm going to ruin her. So I'm not even gonna try to fix this. I just can't. <laughs> Again, her arms are pretty bendy. Here's the other side. And the legs are also facing on the inside. Let's see how well she fares on standing. Oh, she is actually falling forward. Let's try that. There she goes. So she is standing without shoes on. And her eyes are pink with this really cute makeup on. The mouth is exactly the same. Oh, wait, the mouth is not the same. I thought the mouth was the same, but it is not. Here we just have an open mouth. Here we have a mouth with a kind of tongue on the inside. And even the mold for the character you can see here, the mouth doesn't go as deep. Whereas here, we have a bit more variance in the lips and the mouth, kind of like Pac-Man. And here it's a little bit more flat, like a 90 degree. Okay, I'm glad they didn't use the same mold, at least for the face. Our first mystery box is quite chunky and you are the dress. It is a half cut off top sleeve. Here's what it looks like all the way around. Again, the paintwork on this is not bad at all. Very flexible and the slit is in the back. Next one. I like that they open pretty good. And okay, this is the purse and it has a heart with skull X's, not skull, bones, bone X's up here. I love the fact that this is a strap. We can easily tell that this is supposed to be a purse, unlike the first one. This is going to be the stand, if I'm not mistaken. Let's take it out. Yes. Oh, stand and stickers. Ooh. Wait a minute. We have different colored hearts. And just to compare it with the previous one, here we had stars that were more light and colorful and playful. And here we have desaturated colors that would match the theme of the character. I like that. And again, if we look at the band-aid types, we have more deeper, playful, gothy colors. Whereas here we had a rainbow theme. Very cute, I appreciate that. This is pretty flat, so I'm going to guess that it is the comb. What are you? You are a comb! Stop! And it's a different color! So we have a black comb for our gothy lowly character. I'm not sure when I would use this comb, just because her hair is gonna stay exactly like this, but look at that. It goes through her hair like butter. Beautiful, no knots. The way they packaged it was very smart. Next surprise, here are shoes. I'm kind of curious if the shoe molds are the same. Here we have a shoe with a strap and the socks are different colors. Whereas for Decora, we didn't have any straps on the shoes. Again, I appreciate the fact that we're not using the same molds. This here is pretty flat, so it's likely going to be more stickers. And we have our puffy stickers. So we do have the bows, but instead of rainbow-esque dolls, we have skull bows. And here's what they look like. And according to the box, it looks like these skulls are going to be used as hair decoration. We didn't try that with the previous doll, so we're gonna try it with this one. And this one should be more puffy stickers. And yes, oh my goodness. Stop. These are cute. I love this pastel creature of darkness aesthetic. Oh my goodness, I love her. We have skulls, we have moth skulls, we have hearts with bones, and then we have bows with hearts right here. So this is this is a really cute set. I really do like this. Something's wrong with me. <laughs> All right, so let's get her in her outfit. So we're basically just gonna squeeze her in there. I got you, I got you. One eternity later. Aha! <laughs> and here she is looking absolutely adorable. Now let's go ahead and add some of those decorations. I'm definitely feeling that skull vibe. So we're gonna take one of these and I kind of want to add one on her cheek right here. Very cute. And we can take a few of these stickers and probably put them, oh my goodness, come out. There you go. And we're just gonna put a few of those stickers around her skirt just to kind of give that a little bit of a different vibe. And I feel like in the back here, we could put something, but because the stand is going to get in the way, I don't think we should, but let's try those hair decorations. Again, the front of the box is showing us that we can add hair decorations. I am very curious. We don't get an example, I don't think in the video, but we might have to rewatch that in order to see if that's the case. Kitty editor, what do you think? So I'm going to take this and put it right here. Yes. Okay, that actually sticks pretty well. That is on there. That is on there. My goodness, she is cute. Well, let's take one of those mothy skulls and put it right here. Yes, 
These are perfect. These are actually sticking on the character. Yes, this hair is made for that. I have to say, I love this character as well. Both of them are just absolutely adorable. And here she is with everything that we got and in her stand. Let me know what you think. What is your rating for this one? By the way, for those of you wondering how many actual surprises we're getting, it looks like we are getting eight categories, but in total, there are 45 individual items. And that's if you're counting every sticker as its own bit. So, so far there are 40 five pieces in this set, which is why they're allowing themselves to say over 44 surprises because there's 45 pieces. Nice trickery, but I get it. Okay. Our next character here is named Blossom, and it looks like Blossom is a dessert type character. I see a vanilla flower, I see cupcakes, I see fruits, and strawberries. This character is definitely pastel cutesy vibes, but if this is three for three, it means the doll you see in the front is a doll you get. And at this point, I'm pretty convinced, but let's check it out anyways. Let's move these surprises on the side. And we get Blossom the Super Pastel Doll. Let's get you out. And here's a close-up of Blossom. We have the pastel blue and pastel pink hair. And it's a little harder to see, but we do have also a bit of a pastel purple in that mix. So we do have three colors here. They're a little easier to see on the bangs because we have the pink, purple, and the bluish color. Her eyes are a blue tint and her mouth is kind of like Decora's. So here you can see that the mouth is basically the same shape, but the eyes are a different color. So this here kind of looks the same, except her nose looks to be a little lower. So far, not the character with the most kind of personality, but let's see what the surprise bags have. First one here, feels like it could be the stand. And yes, so this is our character stand. Oh, and the stickers. So here we have a bunch of strawberry stickers. We don't have that much variance in terms of the fruit. I guess this character really is themed in strawberry. And even the little band-aids over here are within the same colors that she has in her hair with the blues and the pinks and the purples. And this here is pretty chunky, so it's gotta be her outfit. And what does that look like? Oh wow, uh, deja vu much? This is very similar to Decora. Let's bring this one closer. Yeah, this is the same dress except different patterns. We can see we have that little jacket at the top. We have the three layer frilly dress. So this is the same mold. I am not impressed with this. Would have loved to see something a little bit more maybe fruity in terms of shape or character on there. Go figure the last one is the one that's most disappointing because it was so creative so far that they just kind of went down. Let's see the next one. Here we have, what are you, a backpack. See, that's what I'm looking for, yes. We have a strawberry backpack. My only concern with this backpack is if we're going to put the character on display, will this actually be okay? Or do we have to put it over the display? So we're gonna find that out later. That's the creativity I'm looking for. And here we have our puffy stickers. So again, we have different kinds of strawberries and flowers. I'm guessing these are going to be vanilla and then different kinds of kelp cakes. They're really pushing on that strawberry theme, but we could have seen some strawberry cakes perhaps. We do have cupcakes, but I think the variation could have been really cool, like strawberry shortcake, for example. And this one's pretty chunky. You are. Oh, look at these boots. Yes. We have polka dots and we have stripes. This is very cute, I love this. And these are going to be left and right. But I do love these, these are super, super cute. Love it, it kind of has a futuristic look to it. This one's pretty flat, so I'm guessing our large puffy stickers. And we have, yes, gigantic strawberry stickers. Now these we know are great for hair decorations. So we're gonna go ahead and put that on her hair at the end. And our last item is the comb. This one comes in a pastel pink with the logo Decora Girls. And here she is without her outfit and now side by side with her wearing her outfit. And now as a little bit of a variation, here she is with her outfit and then on the left side with the outfit and a couple of stickers added to it. So yes, you can customize it. I just don't feel as excited about this one. But of course we can go ahead and add the stickers on the hair. But first I want to see what this backpack situation is like. Let's get this around her arm. Let's get that going and get it around the other arm. <laughs> Come on, we got you. 
We could do it. There we go. And here she is with the backpack situation. I don't think we're going to be able to put her on her stand just because we don't have any neck clearance for that, unfortunately. So we might actually have to remove this and have her hold her backpack kind of like this up. Oh gosh, maybe not as easy. Maybe kind of like this. And let's take this out and put that cute little strawberry clip over here. I kind of messed her hair. Oh gosh, oh gosh. Do not let me brush your hair because I will, <laughs> I will ruin it. We have strawberry over here. We can add a little vanilla accent here and even a cupcake. This is the kind of character that's cute, but not unique enough to for me to just say this is a strawberry character. I feel like the dress could have a little bit more done to it. Everything else though, I, I think is okay. It's cute. I love the pastels. By the way, if your grains haven't gotten yourself one of my dragon bags that can be turned into either a purse or a backpack, as you can see here on the pictures. And yes, it comes with the straps you need to make it whatever style you want. Of course, they are adjustable as well. And not only are the straps adjustable, but you can also change the dragon face, whether you want it to be colorful or just a plain white background. And it does have its own dedicated zipper to get to the faces in case you also want to use it as an ETA bag, which means a bag to display your own pins or charms. And again, you can put the pins whether you want it on the white background or ta-da, you can also do it on the colorful background. Not just that, but this bag has space. Let me tell you, you can fit your switch in there pretty comfortably, a pretty large wallet, like you can see mine over here. And heck, why not add your favorite fidget toy too? And yes, there's even space for your phone with all of that in there. The inside also has a zipper to keep some of your more valuables safe. And if you need more space, we do have a zipper in the bag for those items that you want to have more conveniently easily accessible. And I can't tell you enough how many compliments I've gotten just walking around with this bag. So if you're looking for something unique this season to accessorize with, why not check out my dragon bag? Link is on the video as well as under. And here she is with everything that we got. Let me know what you think about her, but also let me know which one of these three is your favorite. I know we do have another one of these, but we have confirmed that the doll in front is indeed the doll you're going to get. So I'm not going to open this. Instead, what I'm going to do is have a giveaway for this character. So make sure that you are on my next live stream in order to find out details. Make sure you turn that notification on and make sure you're subscribed. But yeah, let me know which one of these three is your favorite or your favorite aesthetic. I'm curious to read your comments down below and why. If you want to watch more mystery box unboxings, make sure you click up here. If you want to catch something crafty like my DIYs for weird people, make sure you check down here. Until then, I will see you grains in the next video.